All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the sincere apostles and elders of a great millstone who are my teachers, and peace and salutations to your brothers out there doing this work in truth and sincerity. This is the brother Yahweh Sop with another lesson. Uh, the title of this one is going to be Soul Food, Pray, Fast, Repent, Repeat. And this lesson was inspired by the testimony of the brother Amawan Gabar, that, that elder, uh, and uh, I'll post a link of the, the video that I watched in the description, man. But pretty much, I wanted to touch on how when we pray in faith, Yahweh, the Lord Yahweh will deliver us. All right. And so to get it started, I wanted to, to uh, get into the book of Luke chapter 18. And the reason for, for me wanting to get this precept is because we must remember to always pray. All right. And to faint not, man. We, we want to weigh the heavenly father's ears down with our prayers you know we want to pray every day as much as we can all right and so this is going to be the book of luke chapter 18 and verse 1 and it reads and he spake a parable unto them and who is that he talking about yahweh shai the messiah the one who the world ignorantly calls jesus christ all right whose true name in the hebrew will be yahweh shai yah meaning he yahweh shai meaning saves or delivers all right, so reading that again, and he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint, saying there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard men, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. That's right, hear me, understand it. You know, the, even though this this was an unjust judge, he did a righteous judgment because this widow would not stop, in a sense, bothering him. All right. And that's how we have to treat it with the most high, man. You want to pray every day to the best of your ability, man. When you wake up, pray. When you're going to sleep, pray. When you're when you're walking throughout your day, pray, man, that the Heavenly Father delivers you and keeps you from evil, man. All right. And so it says... Yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith, and shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with him? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find face faith on the earth and the answer is yes because the elect are going to have faith that the heavenly father is going to deliver them that's why they pray continually day and night they cry they're complaining unto the heavenly father to save him all right to save them out of the hands of their enemies Yahweh Zah, we're part of that the that elect remnant man the 144,000 all right elect men and the one-third which consists of the women and children of the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and North American Indians. All right, we're praying that the Heavenly Father delivers us, man. So even this unjust steward avenged the woman, all right, which the elect and the, the nation of Israel in, in overall are equated to a woman. It says, so don't tell yourself that your prayers or complaints are not being heard. You know, remember that the Lord Yahweh is long suffering and will judge in due time. All right. And so from here, I want to jump to the book of Sirach chapter 35. And I'm going to start at verse 13. And this is in the uh, GNT, the good news translation. And it reads, he is not prejudiced against the poor. When someone prays who has been wrong, the Lord Yahweh listens. That's right. Especially if you're praying in, in a humbleness of mind and meekness. All right. And so it says when orphans and widows pour out their prayers, he does not ignore them. That's right. The Heavenly Father doesn't just ignore everybody, man. All right. The Heavenly Father listens. All right. He blesses some and he curses others. All right. And Yahweh Zah, we're going to receive that all time blessing of the kingdom of, of eternal righteousness. All right. And so it says, verse 15, the tears running down a widow's cheek cry out in accusation against the one who caused her distress. All right. And you can liken the elect unto a widow, man, because they were they were they were divorced technically. All right. By the heavenly father. All right. And then reconciled through Yahweh Shai. 
all right and through us crying out day and night uh, and accusing uh accusing those who are troubling us it will then the heavenly father will hear that all right and he and he will save you out of it you're not only called but you're chosen all right and and how right is you're doing it out of humbleness and meekness speaking to myself first and foremost and so it says verse 16 serve yahweh willingly and yahweh will accept you your prayers will reach the skies all right and so when you serve the lord willingly you're not you're not you're not being laxic salaki you're not being laxic laxidaisical about it all right you're not you're not doing it out of unwillingness of mind man you know you're not waking up every day saying ah oh, fuck i gotta you know i gotta serve the lord again if you're not in that mindset but you're in the mindset of, of loving what you do man you want to you want to put up lessons you want to read you want to show the heavenly father that you're amending your ways and well then the lord will accept you there's no reason for him not to all right and this is what the scriptures say and it says your prayers will reach the skies man and when it comes to being avenged of your enemies that will happen in due time you know, when it comes to being delivered from your enemies, that will happen in due time. It may happen that very second. It may happen that next day. You just have to maintain your faith, man, and continue to trust in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And so it says, verse 17, the prayer of a humble person goes past the clouds and keeps on going until it reaches the Lord Most High, where it stays until he answers by seeing that justice is done and that the guilty are punished. That's right, because once again, the Heavenly Father is long suffering. All right. He gives the, his people time to repent. All right. And he allows the, even the wicked to turn from their ways. And if they don't, well, then they're just stacking sin upon sin. And so it says, and the Lord will act quickly. He will show no patience with the wicked people. He will take vengeance by crushing the heathen. He will completely wipe out the merciless and the arrogant and will destroy the authority of the wicked. He will give each of us what our thoughts and actions deserve because of Yahweh's mercy. His people will be happy when he has judged their case. And that's because hey, our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, North American Indians, we're at the lowest of the low, man. All right. We don't have no government. We don't have no no means of protection around us, man. All right. And matter of fact, we're sacrificed, man. All right. Our people are put on the front lines of wars. All right. They they are uh, uh, looked at disgracefully. All right. People people looking at us, seeing us as rape rapists, uh, uh, thieves. All right. Murderers. These are how the other heathen nations view us right now, man. All right. And they they wanted to keep us in this position because they are in rulership, man. And they understand that once the Israelites get back into power, they're going to be put under our heel. They're going to become servants and handmaids. All right. But it says the Lord will act quickly. All right. And because of the Lord's mercy, we will rejoice. We will be happy when he has judged our case. And that's why it's important that you continue to pray that the Heavenly Father delivers us, delivers us out of this place, man. So continuing in verse 20, in times of trouble, his mercy is as welcome as rain after a long drought. And all right. So the Lord's mercy is as rain welcome as rain after a long drought. You know, it's bringing back to life those those who truly believe man the lord's word is life unto those who truly believe all right and we know that the heavenly father will judge us will save us and judge us according to our ways which we pray that we are are blameless and innocent before him all right when he comes to judge the world according to to their ways we pray that we washed ourselves clean enough through his word all right through your shy's blood that that he saves us and delivers us man and that prayer if we're doing this in in truth and sincerity will reach into the clouds man and continue to go into the heavenly father brings that justice and you have to have faith in that man so the book of psalms chapter 86 and I'm going to start at verse 14. Oh, yeah. How the proud are risen against me and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul and have not set thee before them. That's right. These, these people, they haven't set the heavenly father before them, starting from the elite of Esau, Edom, the so-called white men. All right. The ones who are in rulership uh, right now, all the way down 
to the to the lowest low of Jake, who does not know the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, man. All right. Who are walking in their ignorance, in their pride. All right. Believing that there is no there is no end or that there is there is no afterlife. Pretty much believing that there's no judgment living in a YOLO type mindset, man. All right. These are the people that have risen up against us because our ways, which are really the Heavenly Father's ways, don't don't coincide with the ways that they want to live. You know, they want to be able to commit adultery. They want to be able to steal and murder. But we want to be able to live life, man. And we pray that the Heavenly Father brings that again. So once again, you want to pray fast, repent, repeat, man. Wash yourself, pray fast because fasting complements that prayer. All right, because you're afflicting your soul. And that's what the Heavenly Father wants, a, a humble and contrite spirit, a broken spirit. And it tells you that in the book of Psalms, I believe it's chapter 34, if I'm not mistaken. All right, I'm, I'll probably post it in the description as well. But it says, <clears throat> verse 15, But thou, ya, O Yahweh, are a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. That's right, the Lord is plenteous in mercy and truth. And so we understand that because he's long suffering, that their judgment will come in due time, whether it's righteous, righteous judgment, which the heavenly father judges nothing but righteously, man. So that righteous judgment will come in due time. We just have to continue to maintain our faith and believe that the heavenly father will bring it to pass, man. All right. Psalms chapter 11 and verse six. He that cometh unto Yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right. And so. From here, I want to jump to the book of Tobit, chapter 12, and I'm going to get right to the point. Verse 8, prayer is good with fasting and alms and righteousness. That's right. And why is that? Because when you when you afflict your soul, all right, and you pray unto the Heavenly Father, hey, well, the Heavenly Father sees that, and he sees that you are, are trying to amend your ways, all right, and he understands you're, you're in the flesh, man, you know, so he will... He will have mercy upon you, man. You have to have faith in that. All right. So once again, prayer is good with fasting and alms and righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness. It is better to give alms than to lay up gold. That's right. A little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness. You know, so even if you if you're if you're able to to just do the bare minimum, man, you're reading. All right. You're, you're studying. You're watching the lessons, you know and you're you're praying and you're fasting even that is better than you having a lot of money or you doing good in life all right with with none of that man all right even if you're doing that bare minimum the heavenly father sees that all right and you that's you praying and you 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 um rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of your ability that shows the heavenly father that you're serious man all right and that's what we have to have faith in so from here i want to jump to the book of Philippians chapter 4 and I'm gonna start at verse 6 be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto you how that's right in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving you always want to thank the Heavenly Father for for giving you the spirit man yet the water you how for giving me how to be able to do this lesson to be able to read to be able to understand the words and the 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 knowledge that is being given unto me man all right, allow allow me to have wisdom, which is the application of the knowledge that you, that you're giving me, and allow me to prosper in all my ways through Thy Word, through Thy Spirit. You know, th those are the type of prayers that you want to have, man. All right, speaking once again, speaking to myself first and foremost, and so it says in verse seven, and the peace of Yahweh, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That's right, because this is peace, man. All right, knowing that there is an there is an end of wickedness, all right, and that we will receive a kingdom that's full of righteousness and that will never fade away. We're going to be given those new bodies, all right, and all of our people, all of the nation of Israel is going to be saved, all right. Come, which first they have to be judged, of course, all right, but through the elect seed are they going to come back and they're going to rejoice in the words of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, just as we have been doing. Lord's will, we're not only called but we're chosen. All right. And so from here, you know, because these things, man, 
You know, when we come to Yahweh with a sincere heart, truly repenting, he opens his ears unto our prayers and delivers us from evil, man. All right. And that brother, you know, that brother that I watched today, his testimony, you know, that that is a, a perfect example of of how the Heavenly Father hears us, man, and delivers us. All right. Which he's not the only one that has a testimony, you know. We, those of us who are serving Yahweh by Shemel, Shai, Shai, Truth, and Sincerity, you know, we all have a testimony, all right? And uh, if you watch this video and you do have that testimony, Bible Shai, post it in the comments, man. I want to, I want to hear about you brothers and you sisters' uh, deliverances, man, when the Heavenly Father took care of you, when, when he showed, when he showed you that he exists, man, that's, that's a beautiful spirit and, uh, to, be, to be revealed unto you. So the book of Psalms, chapter 91 and verse 9. Because thou hast made Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. And why is that? Because eventually, excuse me, eventually the Heavenly Father is going to raise us up and give us those new everlasting tabernacles, those new bodies. It says, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. So the Heavenly Father is going to guide you through his angels man you, you know you might you might be debating uh yourself about something you might and you may go to a brother and through through yahweh by hashem yahweh shai he was he is able to guide you and keep you on the right path or even if you pray about it and you start reading all right and you read about an exact issue that you're going through and then you're you're able to figure out how to how to come to a twab conclusion a good conclusion regarding that issue all right that was all of the heavenly father all right and these things come by praying fasting all right, repenting turning back unto the heavenly father washing you and making you clean and repeating this process daily and so it says verse 12 they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against the stone thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet because he hath set he talking about the elect talking about the ones who are serving you how about shimmy i truth and sincerity verse 14 because he hath set his love upon me therefore will i deliver him i will set him on high because he hath known my name that's right. You send your love upon the Heavenly Father. You're forsaking the ways of this world. You know, you're no longer getting tattoos. You're no longer out there stealing. You're no longer out there committing adultery. All right. Whatever you were doing in the past, you're no longer doing. All right. You're sending your love upon the Heavenly Father, rehearsing the righteous acts. Hey, well, then the, the Heavenly Father said, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. And if you can take anyone's word, you should take the heavenly father's word, man. Verse 16, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. That's right. So with long life will the heavenly father satisfy us and show us his salvation as long as we continue to set our love upon him. All right. Not only by putting up lessons, not only by not only by going out into the highways and hedges. All right. But also by praying, by fasting. All right. And showing forth our faith, man. All right. Through through our, our rehearsing of the righteous acts. All right. Which once again, rehearsing of the righteous acts isn't just preaching the word, man. You know, rehearsing the righteous acts is also walking the talk that you speak about, man. All right. And so with that, man, I want to end it off on the book of Ezekiel. And chapter 18 in the GNT, I'm going to start at verse 21. All right. It says, if someone evil stops sinning and keeps my laws, if he does what is right and good, he will not die. He will certainly live. All his sins will be forgiven and he will live because he did what is right. Do you think I enjoy seeing evil people die? Asked the sovereign Lord. No, I would rather see them repent and live. And starting with that repentance, man, is praying that the Heavenly Father forgives you. All right. You know, Yahweh Bashimi Al Shabbat with Shai Salak you. All right, Salak meaning forgive. Yah, when you add it at the end of that word of Salak, you know, you it turns it it turns it into a possessive, uh, I believe possessive noun, if I'm not mistaken. But pretty much, you know, when you say Salak Yah, that's forgive me. Yahweh Bahashim in the name, Ba in ha the shum name. All right, Yahweh Shai, Babu Shai, please, Salakia, forgive me. 
you know, for my sins and trespasses that I have committed against the thought. These are the prayers that you want to throw up daily, day in and day out. Pray, fast, repent, repeat. And with that being said, I pray that this lesson was edifying and uplifting. Once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Baha Shimi, Shai. Till the next time I say Shalom.